Hey veterinary peeps, we've got a real freaking problem in our profession and it's called throwing shit. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. I don't even understand how this is a thing. We work in a professional medical office. That's what we do. We provide medical care to veterinary patients. And whether that be a large animal population of veterinary patients or small animal or exotic or lab, whatever it is, you work in a professional medical office or maybe a laboratory or maybe a zoo. Regardless, it's a medical office. It's professional. You are a professional and a medical professional at best. I don't understand. It's been over a decade that I have had a slide in one of my presentations and it says, don't throw things and don't yell at each other. And by show of hands, anytime I have a large audience, I say, hey, how many of you have had something thrown in a veterinary hospital, either at you or near you, by a person who purposely did it because they were angry or upset? Every single time I ask this question, at least 80 to 90% of people raise their hand. It's embarrassing. This cannot be tolerated. I've talked to other environment, workplace environments. I talk to engineers and architects and I go, when's the last time your colleague picked up a clipboard or a pen or I don't know, even a piece of paper and flung it at you out of anger? And they said, why, why would they throw things? You ask great questions, but here in veterinary medicine, it's very common. The worst that I've ever personally witnessed was by an owner of a hospital who picked up an actual wooden chair and flung it across the waiting room, luckily without any clients in it. it we were closed for the day. Um, and she put a hole in the wall. Now you have to ex understand that the next day you have to explain to your clients why there's an effing hole in your veterinary wall. I don't, it's impossible to explain it. I don't know. It just exploded. Like, no, the owner got so angry, she picked up a wooden chair and flung it and put a hole in the actual wall, which required replastering of the wall and some level of expense. There was also cursing and, and that sort of thing. The reality is, is that should not be tolerated. And I don't understand why we're tolerating it. And here's the best part about it. I shouldn't say best part. It's more like a nightmare of it. The reality is, is that practice managers, managers, and supervisors tolerate it from certain individuals. It's the highest grossing doctor. It happens to be, you know, the medical director. It's your longest standing credential veterinary technician. We can't, we can't live without them. I know they throw things, but they, oh, they don't mean to do it. No, you meant to do it. You physically picked up an object and threw it across the room. And whether or not it impales somebody or hurts somebody or comes close to somebody, it shouldn't be tolerated. In some workplace environments, this is considered an assault. I just, I don't understand how this is a rampant thing in the veterinary hospitals, but it is. So, hey, rule number one while being a veterinary employee, don't throw shit. Don't throw shit in your hospitals. If you're a doctor, if you're a veterinary technician, if you're an assistant, if you're a kennel assistant, if you're a client service rep, if you're a practice manager, if you're an owner, if you're a medical director, I don't care. You're not allowed to throw shit. And here's the other important thing. If you are in a leadership role and you are tolerating this from anybody, then it gives permission for everyone in your staff to be able to do this behavior. You can't make exceptions and say, oh, well, the client service representative is not allowed to throw the pen, but the doctor is allowed to throw a syringe. Um, no, you can't do that. Employees, you need to ask for fairness and equality. And if you're in a toxic workplace environment where this behavior is permitted, go leave. Every single hospital at this point is short staffed. You can literally quit your job today and go find another job tomorrow. There's plenty of hospitals that hopefully, please let there be a, a whole bunch of hospitals that don't tolerate this garbage. But unfortunately, it is a very common and infectious thing that happens in our hospitals. Let me be very clear. When we tolerate angry people throwing stuff in our hospitals, that unfortunately doesn't allow for psychological safety in our hospitals. And psychological safety is huge. It is the thing that it says, I'm allowed to give you criticism in a healthy way. And you need to accept that criticism, recognize I'm coming from a place of kindness. When we have angry individuals that are throwing stuff and cursing and unfortunately doing those things, I don't feel safe to speak up because I'm afraid about what's going to happen. Psychological safety is a huge problem in most of our hospitals, unfortunately. 
So please be kind to each other always, but don't throw shit. It's completely within your control to just not throw shit. It's that simple, guys. And if you have somebody in your hospital who's throwing shit, don't tolerate it. The end. Terminate them. That's it. Find them help if they're burned out. I don't care. Coach them. Give them this is it kind of, of rules and regulations. Write them up. All of these things. Just don't tolerate it. Thank you so much. Keep on being a unicorn. Thank you for all that you do and just don't throw shit.